you very much for coming. Uh, we are very pleased to have to welcome all the Vaishnavs here at 26nd Avenue. Uh, yes, everyone is welcome here. And of course, uh, everyone knows the uh, significance of 26nd Avenue. That is the beginning of uh, Prabhupada's official preaching in the, in the West. So, in either directly or indirectly, uh, most of us here have um, uh, some uh, sentiment or have some kind of indebtedness to this place, 26 Second Avenue. And we thank everyone for coming here and for uh, giving your association to all of us who regularly come here. And especially, yes, please, all right. Especially we, sorry. Yes. No, I, I'm not uh, from this place, from the uh, West Coast. From First Temple President in Los Angeles. First Temple President in Los Angeles. originally came, uh, of course, in 1965, and he was staying with some people and giving lectures in various places. And uh, then he uh, came to New York. He continued to give lectures in various places with no fixed place. So uh, he had to tolerate a very uh, uncomfortable situation in uh, one apartment, living with uh, only some young people and uh, one of these people was crazy. So it was a very uncomfortable, difficult situation. Then he had some followers, some young men, and uh, they were not very serious. But he requested them, please help me. Help me to find a place. So two of them especially uh, took this seriously. But uh, we can't subject it. Uh, Carl Jurgens and uh, Michael Grant. That's uh, Mukunda Goswami now. He's Mukunda Goswami. Carl Jurgens is not associated anymore with Mukunda, but he was initiated. Initiation. Carl So these two um, helped Prabhupada and Mukunda found this place, and uh, there was also a residence, an apartment in the, uh, across this courtyard here. So together the two places then uh, became the official place for, for Prabhupada to preach. Then in the beginning, cooking was in the residence. Yes, Harikata and the Prashad, yes, exactly. And uh, if, uh, if students were not very serious, uh, Prabhupada then uh, was cooking in his apartment. And also cleaning up after uh, these young uh, students were coming and uh, taking Prashad in the middle of the day. Some of them were just loitering, they had nothing to do, no uh, occupation. And so they were coming uh, regularly just to take for shot from Swamiji. Then uh, he was giving in the evening and uh, the morning classes here in this place. So more people were coming to the classes and then a few uh, who later became more serious, they were taking for shot with Swamiji in midday. So gradually, gradually, Robots taught them how to clean the pots, how to cook for shot, how to do everything. We some kids on how to manage the finances, how to administrate the mundial. So in this way, Prabhupada uh, actually began with uh, very little, nothing, only some raw material. Uh, then he began also back to his magazine as Maharaj 
this, and uh, it was printed in a very uh, crude manner uh, just here in this center. They, they used to uh, print this and then go on the street and distribute the magazine. Then uh, at some point they also began to go to the nearby park about eight, ten blocks away and I have some kids on, on uh, Sundays on uh, special days in the park. I guess. Then, Charter, yes, yes, the uh, incorporation, yes. The uh, so then in July, after a few months, that uh, Prabhupada wanted to incorporate the society. An international society for Christian consciousness. And some devotees, they were embarrassed because they said, Ponzi has called it international, but actually we have only one center. So they were embarrassed. Then, uh, after some months, again, uh, then in December, uh, Prabhupada went to the West Coast in San Francisco. And began there. Then constantly Prabhupada was preaching open temples, open temples. If, any, if anybody came who was serious, he said, I want 108 temples. So then if somebody was serious or senior, he said he could go this way. Somebody would write a letter to Prabhupada, uh, Vancouver, Canada, Los Angeles, San Diego. So they're suggesting that this is a good place, that the prophet would see somebody and say, you go, you go, you go. So in this way, the centers began in various places. No problem. Yeah. All right, Radha and Krishna, he would quote 
Radha Krishna Pranaya Vipati Vidhi Shasti Asmar, how the love of Radha and Krishna is the highest um, manifestation of the absolute truth. And I remember after one class I asked him, because I thought that I'm a girl, Radha Rani is a girl, and Krishna is a boy, I asked him up in his quarters if it's all right to be jealous of Radha Rani. And he said, no, you can only get to Krishna through Radha Rani. And then he was sitting in his courtyard here, just outside the temple, and he was sitting on a beach chair. That is, those plastic chairs with the stones. And uh, all the devotees were coming up to him, and he was patting everybody on the back, patting the girls on the head. And he said that, um, and he said that Krishna is very strict, and Radharani is very sure. nice. He said, even if I'm a nonsense, if I approach Radharani, then she will go to Krishna and say, I can never love you as much as this devotee, so please accept that devotee. And because the devotee is recommended by Radharani, then Krishna must accept. So upstairs in his quarters, he performed the, uh, all the initiation ceremonies. And I remember in my initiation, he was telling us about the chanting. And he said that the goal of chanting is that there should be tears falling from the eyes, shivering hair standing on ends. And this happens very easily unless there are senses. And then he proceeded to look and explain the ten senses to the chanting. And this upstairs is also where Prabhupada performed his own personal puja on his small uh, oval altar. And he would every morning he would offer due parsi and recite Omo Janam Simaran Nasya in offering uh, obeisances to his spiritual master. And in that same room, that room is called the altar room. That's where actually Shrimad Narayan Maharaj sent Prabhupada's first Radha Krishna deity. And they were worshipped up in those quarters. Uh, Shrimad Narayan Maharaj also sent the first Kuma Dhamma, Kartal, and all of Prabhupada's books from Kolkata. Um, any of you who know about preserving books, so you have to use this very toxic chemical. So Shilohan Reinhardt became ill in um, getting all of the books from Calcutta and mailing them here to New York so Shilohan could use them as references for his translations of the Gita and Sagratam, Chaitanya Chari Tamita, Teaching of Lord Chaitanya. So in those quarters, um, we worship the first deities and then in uh, April, uh, and from January to April of 67, Prabhupada went to San Francisco, and when he came back, he brought with him the uh, second Lord Jagannath deity of the movement. And uh, Jagannath yeah. and Balaram came with Prabhupada, and uh, Prabhupada personally put them up on their first altar, which was two brown chairs. And Prabhupada put his arms around Jagannath and Balaram, and got them into their places like that. And then Sabadra came from San Francisco a couple of days later, and Prabhupada said she is late just like a woman, but she is the most beautiful of the three. And then uh, in April, Prabhupada continued his Chaitanya Charitamrita to classes, and also he began his series of teachings of Prabhupada Maharaj. He also instructed me to do these paintings that you see around the uh, wall, this one of Radha and Krishna, he told me to copy from the very first, uh, first canto she had Bhagavatam cover, which incidentally, when Prabhupada was printing those Bhagavatams in Delhi, Shilin Raya Maharaj was associating with Prabhupada when Prabhupada was at that Radha Bhavanar temple. They were cooked together, talked together so many things. Uh, Maharaj explained that Prabhupada was wearing worn and torn cloth. And he gave Prabhupada his chatter to lie down on. They would make your bodies together and discuss Prabhupada's plan for coming to America. <laughs> and then uh, Prabhupada had me do this painting here in 1967 of Yashoda and Krishna. And he explained, he explained that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give what no other avatar or acharya ever gave before. That is, previously, the highest concept of God was as God is the Father, the order supplier. But here in this picture, it shows that um, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give 
something much higher, that one can become even mother of God, a friend of God, a lover of God. And he's showing, he's explained that because he was cutting the jumbles of Maya by philosophy, he said, we don't want to become one with God. And he pointed to that painting, and he said, we want to become greater than God, so that God depends on us, just like Mother Yasoda. There were two big uh, bossy prints right over here. One of Krishna feeding um, Glutton to a calf, and the other is very beautiful of Krishna sitting on the rock. And Prabhupada said on his Vyasa center right there, <coughs> he said, we are not interested, we have a out there, but there's a photo, I don't know if that photo can be taken off the wall, or you? I don't know if it's attached, but Prabhupada's Vyasa center was right there. This is a photo of Srila Prabhupada sitting uh, on that Vyasa center with a oval picture of Radha and Krishna for both of you. That was taken in 1967, right here. Um, so Prabhupada said, he was looking at those three bhakti prints, and he said, we are not interested in going to Vaikuntha. We want to be with Krishna sitting on the rock in Vrindavan. So I don't want to take any more time, because uh, now I will introduce to Narayan Maharaj, who himself has come from Vrindavan, just like Srila Prabhupada to New York, to glorify Prabhupada and continue his mission. He says continually that he came to the West for three reasons. The first reason is to um, go to all the holy places, particularly this holy place, where Prabhupada established temples and take the dust from Prabhupada's feet, place that dust on his own head, bathe himself or abhishek himself with that dust so that he would get energy to continue Prabhupada's mission. He introduced that uh, what became probably known as Christian consciousness. And the green is very light screaming here. I assume I've got it on here. Apologize. And underneath at an angle is Krishna. The consciousness is a problem. So, for Krishna consciousness uh, necessitates the, the devotee. Participation of the devotee, how we, we will be Krishna conscious alone is really impossible. So, our Sri Kanya is come here actually by invitation, <laughs> and um, that invitation was given a long, long time ago. And uh, in a very, uh, very happy and charming way, Maharaj has come here. Before before we left Thompson Square Park, I gave him a piece of the tree to show off by the candy and then requested him to take this back to the tree. So, it is indeed a holy place, a pilgrimage. Uh, maybe something like the Siddha Bumpo tree and the Jagannath Pori were in charge of Amidan Scott Horgis' bhajan, chanting last of names daily. Mr. Prabhupada came out from Vrindavan, his rooms in Radha Damodar. He made a tremendous sacrifice that, that most of us know as well about. Um, and uh, our Sri Bhagavan Maharaj, he knows well about Sri Prabhupada also, his struggles here. And he knows him internally also. And um, two things I'll mention more. One is that once when Swami Maharaj was questioned how difficult a place it is where he was grown and how he was succeeded there, he replied by saying, well, I am a Calcutta boy. <laughs> and anyone who has seen Calcutta knows that if you are trained in Calcutta, New York is, you know, no problem to you. <laughs> and, uh, second thing is that Maharaj told yesterday that, uh, to a Prabhupada, requested him by his own hand to place him in Samadhi. And uh, I had the fortune of being standing behind Mahaprabhu. And he was, I think she was probably requested him to sit on his bed. Please sit here. Babaji Maharaj and others used to come to see Shri Prabhupada. 
for directing this example. It's actually bothers you more, I think, because you jump on the field of thought, but then almost talking, I think, you jump in the ship. I was quite a new talk in Bengali, and he was just a scene. So, uh, when Narai Maharaj came to visit that day, Prabhupada asked him, please sit on my bed. But Maharaj declined, saying, I will not sit on his bed. And he told Maharaj, I cannot sit on your bed, you're, you're in my room. I remember seeing Sri Prabhupada's face over his shoulder while I was lying on the bed. And he looked at Narai Maharaj and he said, yes, for a long time I know. You are, you are, our relationship is like that. You have seen like that. that I'm your brother. So, of course, that is Shikshi Guru, and there's much intimacy there. But it is, it, is a, it is a true thing that there's the external movement of the Vaishnavas and the internal movement. And we know much about Sri Prabhupada externally, what he did. But what moved him internally to do all these things, uh, in, in many cases, he means a great mystery. And it is in relation to the internal prospect that he requested Maharaj to personally place him in his samadhi. That is not an ordinary thing. It cannot be done from ordinary things. Uh, and not simply because Maharaj has studied many books and knows many things in many appropriate mantras. Also, it's necessary because of the great intimacy which they shared together for many years. And I know that if Sri Prabhupada was here today, he would personally welcome Maharaj. He would him into all the people in the uh, He would be very happy to take him to God of the Wind, the Sunday, the Darshan of God of the Wind. But uh, unfortunately, there's not maybe time for that situation. So, um, apart from these rooms here, um, this is our Radha Dhamadar. Radha Dhamadar in Vrindavan is also a type of yoga piece, although it is not actually a Vishnu Swami temple, I believe, only a Vishnu yoga piece. But there is special sweetness at Radha Dhamadar. And if you See the movements of Srila Prabhupada, he did not take any ordinary place for his real name. Why do you want to use that? It's right here. Did you hear every day? Nobody has the room from the back. No, no, there's a lot of stuff right here. But you have always chosen special places to do that. Yes, you have to You've tried for a long time to secure the permission to have it on the bus. And now <laughs> and the struggle began there. He used to sometimes sleep in the doorway. I met many people in the alley. He bring in his water thumbs and his press. You know the name of that press? Not tough though. I found that press. Straight through, so the, the okay press. That was okay. I was too nice to go ahead. The press that broke the bottom down and killed the Rajah Spike. He lived in, before that, Rajah Spike. Not a good song, and Dante, Rajah Spike. Not to speak, not to speak when to speak when I was. But Peter Papa did not speak much about his personal struggle and so many things. But he chose these things very. Expert. 
And then I went to this Radha dress, which is over across the Yamuna River in Delhi. I saw that dress. That day, there was one big Mayavadi at that dress. Dungare Maharaj was there. So we had some words. And then I went to the press and pressed it, printed the Bible comments in the middle of the floor. It's quite an easy clean, surprising to a press in India. Very easy. And all along the wall on their surface was his press. And all Sanskrit in Hindi. But I'm not reading Sanskrit in Hindi. I'm just this way. And I'm looking at all these things. I can just tell that they spoke. Why do we need a phone? And I look. Why is spoken is in English? That spoken was Kanada piece and you cannot. They just spelled in English. So I asked this Sharman Reed, who the press was, who worked for Dalmian, and the secretary for Mr. Dalmian. And I said, Why is it spoken? He told, Oh, you're Burma. He told, Once you open, you must put here in English. And he told, uh, This is uh, not a piece to me, you know. I'm six shots. I don't know how to do it. I thought, Oh, that is very nice. Then later I heard from some of the god brothers of our sister, all the time, the Bodhi and that. They used to joke with him because he was a chemist. They would say, Hey, Babu, can you put some formula? for Krishna consciousness into a bottle. <laughs> He's making formulas. He said, yes, I have a formula. <laughs> but difficulty is cooking in the box. <laughs> and they said, you have the formula. And he told him, you're not a piece of cake. Without the ability, Krishna consciousness is only mental speculation. And it's now it's the crown jewel of vice versa. It's humility. At that time also I discovered that I was visiting the gentleman who owned the OK Press, and uh, he's now a lawyer, but I visited his uh, Delhi home in Old Delhi, and uh, he gave me some very old books, which goes up in the covers. Bhagavatam with black covers. Originally he printed red cover and black cover, and then made a choice. So then he gave me this one volume of black cover. So he was there, his wife was there, his daughter was there, I was out that time about 29 years old. And at that time, that little, that lady was just a baby, a few months old. And she was probably just going to do so many things. I gave me to cook her lunch. And then we take some shots together. I saw one plaque on the wall. It said, I am the servant of God. God will protect me. Why I should fear for anything? Why I should worry? Worry or fear? I think well, that sounds familiar. So I asked, who is with me? He said, oh, daily. We were telling your girl, mind, you don't have proper cloth. You don't have proper things to pay. You need to put money aside and give these things for yourself. I need to go through all these difficulties. And he would say, I am serving with God. God is protecting me. Therefore, I should fear him. Well, he sacrificed everything, and on the way, he charmed everyone. Everyone that he met in his world. And, uh, and he here and continues to charm his body, and his charm certainly continues to be able to see him today. So I myself was very fortunate to uh, know Shiva Narayaj and Grace Little. It was 1936 in July. We first met Patit Sudarn, Patit Palana. He found Maharaj's temple. He came to us in uh, Vrindavan and he told, I have found the temple where Prabhupada took Sanya. And I have seen the photo. Take you there. See this place. So we went there, and that was before remodeling. There was one, like, locust in the center of it. So some of the guys in here, they go, yes, you're a strong guy. Take it. And then we went to the other side. And then we got a big stick in the side of my eye. They kind of gave us this photo. I'm sure they're probably taking it somewhere. That photo is everywhere, and it's famous, and it's beautiful. 
these things which are dear to us, which are connected to Sima Prabhupada, we must consider that by whose hand we get these things, most of us This is not simply Prabhupada's person to be, but he had back, he had friends, he had people that he remembered. And Maharaj, as he said many times, he was discussed before. He said the first person, as soon as I heard he's coming to America, but now he's come to play with him. I didn't see him play with the fingers, but we're dancing. He's playing with his own for that. So he's playing with them. The free hot the free secret. But I wonder who got the taste. He says it. Who ate it? Only Prabhupada. You probably wouldn't remember. It's just a dark brown cheese. Alright, now we'll hear something. Something clean. Oh, Pimirandi. Kalpa-sarubhasya-kita-sindhok-dhe-vacha-patita-ram-pa-unet-yo-bhaishyam-yukhyo-namo-namo-bhavatanyam-kishnupenam-sadayam-sindhok-dhe-vacha-patita-
And I also requested him that he should tell him to take renounce order. My Guru also requested him and he did. He agreed. And next day, at the time of this Swarup called, when this road was in Purnima, the first person Then we took the mass. I, I managed everything from Granda, door cooking, wall, everything I managed. I also managed for it. So I sacrificed, just and I did it. I recited his months. Krishna Dasa Vaj Maharaj and at that time. Also believe this. Someone told, someone asked me, or told me, among the disciples of Sami Ji, that is Dhanda, the GBC members. That Sanyas killing is only a second grade. I told them, you don't mind anything. Sanyas is given for only Gopi Bhav. The mantra is Gopi Bhav. This mantra is itself for Gopi Bhav. So, Sanyas is not an ordinary thing. This mantra and this sannyas. Now I have no nothing to do with worldly things. I want this. It is not a second. It opens the door to go to Braja in the mood of Gobi. And I saw them. Then this. So only this is not second to them. Yes. Sometimes maybe that Shiksha Guru cannot read, but after that Shiksha Guru can read it. So it happens. Then our lesson became more thick and more thick. Like that. I went to the same in Jhansi and wherever he used to go to. He wanted to be always with me. I used to help him in cooking everything. He used to also translate Gita. In being Keshavji Goryamat, he translated Gita so much. I was helping him in all the After we went to Vrindavan, in Rup Goswami Samadhi and Vajanath Sari. And after that, he planned to come to Western. He told me that I want to open some rooms for students boarding boarding, and I will help them. And if it will be essential, then I will supply also as mates and everything but the one. But there will be one condition that is they will have to so, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Hare, 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 Hare. At least one, one round. And I know that they'll give up all these things in very short time. And they will be one of five. So he was so generous. I think. And he was heard, I've sent everything to him. I've been to send all his books only to with him one Gita and three volumes of Silmar Bhagavata, a Kartas, and some. Nothing big. 
I remember now that the address type where I used to send the second so, so many things happen, and when I used to do anything new, they used to write me. About 300 are more than that. When this institution, but the stability accounts wrote me that year. She told also that so many cities are coming now. And that will be happy days also. When he came to this place, he wrote me. When he went to San Francisco for some years, he used to write me. So, our friendship and on this. And then when he returned for the time in India with Kisana Ramda and Pakistan from the crack for the direct I was only one man to receive him in airport. None more. And I was with him about fifteen days. They are in Delhi and he went to Radha Ramada. After that and time to time I used to do I know that all the Goswamis of Vrindavan and his Lord brothers, they don't used to take in a touch water by Krishna and Vrindavan and Vrindavan and Vrindavan because it's a and they are after him all things. I used to see it with Maharaj Swamiji and to see it with Kirtanan and Vakta because they were Teshai Kutras. I used to say Prasadam, Mahaprasadam, everything. Still, Swamiji was alive. No one took anything from him, not even a birth. But now they are the chemist friends of the beach. And uh, I think so now. Perhaps they don't know. That moment will them. They don't remember the days when he called all and all. And Maharaj has come now and so and like. Everything we do. Narayan Maharaj says, it is to be so smart. With your own hand, I know that you are so qualified for all this. We also try to, to help them. I brought all these boys, like a naughty boy, not knowing everything. He also likes monkeys. <laughs> also he <laughs> He should help I don't think I will call kind of order to my ability. And then he also called up them and I told that he should not think that he is going to die. But this is a play, so he is going to serve eternally to his master's divine couple and faith and Mahaprabhu and in body, in one body he will be in the forever to knowledge. He can make, he can have so many shapes as Krishna has said. Like now, you know, they are less and less. Also, Yasoda Mahanan, Baba, all are left and left manifestations in this living here. And always among you, giving inspirations and making arrangements. But if you think that he is not of mind, then everything will be destroyed. 
don't find the wrong you for money, wealth, and reputation and nothing. You should try to fulfill these missions for you. Try to honor all the body, whether they are living. Anishtha Dikari or Madhyam or Uttam. So if there are no devotees, also no initiation. Heaven, this is your sentence. You should honor all. As a family, we are all in the family of Mahaprabhu. <laughs> so I remember all these things. I think that he has not been here. And if he is saying all these things, Sir Naran Bharat is here in my 20 seconds. I think you will He has been in California. He has been to Menor in England. He was in Los Angeles. And he did that. He is talking that, oh, we are at the So I am so much fortunate to come to this place. Okay, it does. For some years. It is so much. Maha Mahasid, like Aldar Shatum's friend, he left his body. Ketan Mahasid is a character. And it is Samadhi. It is own thing. I'm told that now, this is Maha Maha Mahasid. He was at first feet first. But by the second before, feet of the Darshan. So, powerful Maha Mahasid. So it is also on the sea coast, perhaps eastern coast, and in western coast, California and all places, in Los Angeles, they have become there. So how is it? So my first question is, no. So, and he, I want to give mercy. That's where he is. I should go there. To meet my Guru there, you'll find him. And to serve him. And to go. you find him. But I am waiting. And they will call and go. But so, I will have to be in Vrindavan, Mukhra, and all these places. Practicing. You know, the peace to me, you know, the Guru is saying, Manina, Manina. Shri Gauranga Bodhite Hare Pula Prashadi. Guru Parakunathe. I say, Akuti, Kame Ami Pusha Vasi. Our ultimate goal is to start Shri Mukhi Dhati. That's it. It's all. I don't tell that. I used to tell them in the name of Sham Rani. First, he was drawn in his world things. Swamiji took her and he gave in the service of Krishna, Yadu is Krishna, and Yadu Rani. And then I told her, better it is. I have promoted to this. I want that by this place. This will be strong. To see all the main object of Swami is to come to me. Not to be the servant of Krishna. He is too great. And sometimes he is so hard. He is not the same. Soft, sweet, fragrant, everything. Krishna has admitted in case I will take hungry. That my view is similar in that. And we will have to stop. And for this sake and the Mahatma, this is the first mission. And most important mission, funny. If lost me so much time, and clear in Mayabad, Karmabad, Gyanbad, Yogabad, everything. Cut, in cutting jungles, and to make a very 
And then he gets the sheath of a thief. And that is called to serve Krishna. Yes. And it will come in the shape of outwardly, sarsha, nishtha, ruchi, asakti, bhav. And then nothing in this world to do. Friend will come in next. But friend will gain. So he has come to this. You have to be in, always in Lord class. Always bring the service at first three days. When it will distribute the books. To do something, to write something, to do pretend in this, right? You have to do all. You have to do also and you have to do all. What is your sati? What is duty? What is both? What is this in the sattva? Not only that, Kirtan doing that sati. And that Kirtan is a Kanishtha regard. Names are of so many, so many things. When a man being in the worldly things, if he chants and knows that this body I I am this body, then his name is third class. Not pure. As much as he develops his Krishna consciousness, name goes pure and pure. When there are offenses, when there are Perfect doctors and all these things. By this name, we can have some wealth, reputation. Sometimes, if none of us, we can go to this kind of, we can have a liberation, but not the person. By the grace of today, we will develop our heart in this stage of ruchi and this is and then name will be when often that will go and Sudhanam Pyavarnam will come and then we will realize I want this. I want stand affection and love for each case and to have. Otherwise we will never know what what was the mission of Kate and Mahaprabhu, what was the mission of our disciple is ordered, Guru Dev, and us, and that is what will be like us, he has this name, but he is not one signaling of our Guru Dev, our Swamiji, his glory was that he was before engaged, he is always engaged in the service of God and Christian. Much he could be here. And he was given to him. So it's surprising. You know him and to glorify him. And to preach his mission. To this world, don't we should be stay to in one platform, but we develop our mood. I pray here in the world that he is. That he is this will be a place to breathe more moisture so that we will be able to, to understand him in the real. Guru Prachul Daya, you know this mantra, third mantra, Guru Prachul Daya, what is the meaning? Who are you? How are you? What is your strength? What is your duty? What is your service to Krishna and Krishna? Krishna and Krishna. Krishna, who is? He should manifest in our hearts. If you will do this manifest very carefully, it comes to the situation. It will reveal all the 
ಅಂಡ್ ನಾವು ಈಗ ತಿಂದು ನಾಟ್ಯೂ ಸಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಬಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ರಿ ಮೋರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೋರ್ 